So welcome back to another episode, and yes, it's 20 years since Mario 64 got released on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> I've done a few of these videos, it's so funny that there's so many anniversaries, like Street Fighter's 25th anniversary, Zelda's 30th anniversary, and I always say the same thing over and over. It always makes me feel so much older. I was 22 years old when Mario 64 came out. 20, 20 years ago, I'm 42 now. It's amazing the passage of time and isn't that the funniest thing that the thing at the time to me about Mario 64, when I was playing it, I knew that it was a timeless classic. I knew there was something special about this game, that it just wasn't just some, you know, another Mario game. It's like, oh, this is fun, but it really broke new ground at the time. Uh, we'd never seen a jump from, you know, 2D graphics to 3D quite like that. Uh, I, something I've never talked about is when I first brought the machine home, and I got it all set up and I was playing it and it was a magical moment. I, I call some games magical moments. This game had magical moments. And my parents, people who were not into video games at all, they'd, they'd see me over the years, they'd, you know, uh, bought me some systems for Christmas and they, they'd enabled the hobby, that's what I'm trying to say. And they sat that night, I remember them coming home from work, and they came downstairs, and they sat there and they were like, they both looked at each other, my mom and dad, were like, wow. They were impressed, finally. I finally impressed my parents with video games. I tried to do it with these books one and two, and they were like, oh wow, the music's really, that's pretty good music. But they just kind of moved on, they never cared about it again. But Mario 64 was that groundbreaking that even if you weren't into video games at the time, it kind of made you go, wait, what the, what the hell is going on? Mario's in 3D now? It was like the jump that, you know, now sometimes uh, can be looked at going to virtual reality. That it was a huge jump. I, I can't tell you. Isn't it nuts for all the people watching this video right now that it's been 20 years. A lot of you grew up with Mario 64. A lot of people's first systems, it's interesting because mine was the NES, but some people's were the Nintendo 64 and they're, they have obsessive collections about it. And you know, here's something awful, a weird mystery has happened to me today. And I did a, I did a, an episode with Rob years ago on our Mario 64 memories, what it was like back then. So please check out that video. It's called Mario 64 memories. That's a really fun video to look at on a day like today, you know, but it's been 20 years, but there's a mystery. There's a real mystery and it's bothering me. I cannot find my copy of Mario 64. It is gone. And I realized something, it's been gone for a long time. It's been gone for years. I I don't know what happened to it. I'm, at, I'm under the idea that it probably got stolen years ago when I had people over in a party or something. But we're talking a long time ago. I don't remember the last time I saw it. It's just one of those things, you know, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. And then you go looking for it and you're like, where the hell is it? I don't know what the hell it is. It's really bothering me. I'm like, oh no, not that game. It's, I never traded it in. Uh, I did my big purge when I was uh, 20 years old to get the Sega, you know, the Sega CDX. But I never sold Mario 64 because Mario 64 is when I, you know, a couple years later. So I don't know what the fuck happened to it. But anyways, uh, you know, anyways, uh, getting back to Mario 64. It, it was such wonderful, such wonderful memories, and I, I just had to make a video. I think I've really talked so much on Mario 64 over the years, and what an important game it was. Uh, and that leap in gaming, it was wonderful, and it's so funny how a game becomes nostalgic. I knew it was a special game then, and I knew it in years to come, I'd look back on it. But I didn't think it'd be 20 years later, I'd be on some internet show, looking back on it, talking about it as much. And it's funny that a lot of games that we're playing right now, like Overwatch and Dark Souls 3 and great games like that, we'll look back on in 20 years as nostalgic games. They'll, they'll have become older. It's amazing. You always think that the games we're playing today are the latest, greatest thing. And it's funny how in 20 years later, you look back, you're like, oh, isn't that... Isn't that novel, you know? But uh, it's funny how life moves on, and, and I think a lot of what I've always tried to say with this show is grab on to a bit of life because it goes by so fast. You know, it was already six years ago since I talked about my memories of Mario 64. That's become a memory. Everything does, and time goes by so quick. I, 
I thought when I was 22 years old, I'm like, oh, this time will last forever. Wow, I'm 42. It's like a time freaking machine, man. It just keeps on going and going. And all that's left is our memories. And I, I think that's why I do this show is because that's the only thing that I can relate to video games is memories. It's such wonderful times playing at such nostalgic times. And uh, what do you guys think? Isn't it amazing Mario 64's, you know, 20 year anniversary? And even younger people who grew up, you know, like you got to feel a little bit older now. That's for sure. So anyways, guys, until next time.